Yo, and welcome to another episode of Checking Out Useful Stuff for the Mac Mini. Today we have the eCases Dual SSD Mini Dock. This is basically a USB 4 based dock that gets you the full 40 gigabits per second speed and two NVMe SSD slots, so you can upgrade your storage up to 16 terabytes. Inside the box, you get the user manual, the dock itself, a USB 4 cable, four thermal pads, a screwdriver, one extra screw for the SSD door, and two rubber standoffs for the SSDs. There's also a 30 watt power adapter and a longer Type-C to Type-C cable for that power adapter. With the unboxing out of the way, let's do a quick little overview of the AKSS mini dock. So it's made out of metal, so this side is completely metal and They've tried to match the color and finish of the M4 Mac Mini. Towards the bottom, you've got your SSD slot, which has two NVMe SSD slots. So you can upgrade up to 16 terabytes. And in terms of the ports, you've got three USB type A ports. These are gonna be 3.2 and they do give you the full 10 gigabits per second speed. There's also a power button for the dock itself and there's a indication LED. Towards the right, you've got a full-size SD card reader, as well as a micro SD card reader. And these are gonna be SD and TF 4.0, so they're rated for speeds up to 312 megabytes per second, which is really good. So even if you have UHS-2 cards, which are on the faster side, this can support them. Towards the back, you've got a USB-C port, which says uh, PD 30 watts. This is for the power adapter. Now you need this power adapter to get the full performance and potential of this dock. If you want to run all the ports as well as the SSDs at the same time, you need external power. There's also two display ports here, which says DP4K, but they do support 5K displays as well. And there is another USB Type-C port, which says host. So you're gonna connect the USB 4 cable here and then onto the Thunderbolt on the Mac Mini. Towards the other side, it's empty. And if you ever had a problem with the Mac Mini's power button placement, this makes it easy to reach. And yeah, it's very convenient. They've created this uh, spring mechanism. And towards the bottom, you've got your SSD slot, which says SSD one and two, more ventilation and rubber feet, so this doesn't slide around your desk. So that's the overview. Now we're gonna basically install the SSDs and assemble it, and then we can talk about performance. Step one is to unscrew the SSD door and start installing the SSDs. This is actually made out of metal, like feels really heavy and dense, really good for heat dissipation as well. Another nice thing about this dock is that it has support for multiple sizes of the M.2 SSD, from the smallest to the standard size SSD. I'm gonna be using the usual default size, I have one from Orico, this is the Orico G1, this is one terabyte, and I also have the Crucial P3 Plus. Uh, this is PCI Gen 4, the Orico is PCI Gen 3. Both are a terabyte each, so two terabytes in total. And to install the SSD, you just line it up with the slot, push them in, take the rubber stand off, and just lock it in place, which is really easy. So there's no screw mechanism, this is completely toolless. SSD number two goes in the slot, get the rubber stand off and it's locked in place. Next up, I'm gonna grab one of the thermal pads which is included in the box and just place them on top of the SSD. This is really important because you wanna keep the SSDs at a stable temperature. So just line them up something like this and apply them. And that's pretty much it. Once the thermal pads are installed, you can put the door back on and they do give you an extra screw for the door in case you lose one of them. And yeah, we're just gonna Screw it back in place. So that's the SSDs installed. Next up, to place your Mac Mini correctly, just line up the power button right here towards the front and it basically just clicks in place. And your completed setup should look like this with the AKSYS Mini Dock. It's a perfect fit. And in my opinion, it looks like a mini Mac Studio because it has that taller height. It still takes the same amount of space on your desk, doesn't take any extra space, looks really clean. So if you are you know, trying to build a minimal setup and you want extra storage and extra ports, I think this is a good option. Now getting to performance, I started my testing with the SD card slot. So both the micro SD and full size SD card are TF 4.0 and they rated for 312 megabytes per second. So I used my 128 gigabyte SanDisk Extreme Pro and I was getting really good read and write speeds. 
in the Blackmagic Design Disk Speed Test, I was getting upwards of 190 for my write and around the 160, 170 Mbps for my read speeds, which is good for that card. And since it's rated for 312 megabytes per second, you can use faster cards as well. So if you're a content creator that's trying to offload footage from your camera onto your Mac, I think that's really useful since the Mac mini does not have a SD card slot in build. Moving on to the SSDs, I tested them individually, but you can run them in a RAID configuration. So RAID 0, RAID 1 or JBoard. And if you do run them in RAID 0, you will get the faster speed. But personally, I want separate drives. So I ran the this speed test again and I was getting 1350 megabytes per second write and around 1550 read. But let's say you run them in a RAID 0 configuration, the speeds are significantly higher. Another thing that's worth mentioning is the USB ports towards the front are USB 3.2, so you get full 10 gigabits per second speed. I personally use them just for, you know, receivers and dongles, but you can connect storage devices like hard disks and SSDs here. But if you do and you are copying data, you will see a reduction in speeds on the NVMe drives because they're all sharing the 40 gigabits per second bandwidth. So do keep that in mind. And last but not the least, I did not face any interference with my Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. I was able to get solid Wi-Fi speeds. And thermally, the Mac Mini stayed cool. This does not interfere with the cooling of the Mac Mini. Air can pass freely and there is no noise. And the fans inside the dock, which are there to cool the SSDs, are also really quiet. Like, I can barely hear them. In my opinion, if you're someone who has the M4 Mac Mini, wants to upgrade their storage, wants the extra USB ports, the SD card slot, and you don't want to break your bank. I think the Acasis Mini Dock is a good option. It's built really well, has a nice design and really nice finish, matches really well with the M4 Mac Mini. It doesn't take any extra space. And for the price, I think this is really good value. I'm gonna leave links in the description down below so you guys can check out the Acasis Mini Dock. I'll also drop my discount coupon code so you guys can save money if you plan to buy this. And yeah, if you have any questions or queries, do let me know in the comments down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it or found it helpful in any way. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you guys don't miss out on future uploads. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace out.